Good morning, lovely ladies. I hope everybody's well. I um, I went. To the, I finally made it out the door, and I do have agoraphobia, so it was a bit um, scary. But I did manage to go, and when I got there, it was a really pretty wedding with lots of English roses and flowers, and it was just lovely. So I'm glad that I went, and I did wear a flower outfit which had tiny little flowers on, which I loved. I really, <coughs> excuse me, I really enjoyed the wedding. We didn't stay for very long because my little doggies were both at home. And so we stayed for approximately four hours and it was lovely. It was in Scarborough. You know the song Scarborough Fair? Well, it was, the setting was there. And um, it was a remake of the Twilight videos. Has anybody heard of them? You know, when the Edward Cullen um, in the Twilight videos uh, marries the young lady, and so the music was from that, and it was a very pretty wedding, all set with arches and lovely roses. And I actually found a, a lovely little sort of uh, arch, rose arch, which had a lovely seat underneath, so I just. Um, sat under there and then lots of people came over and joined me but the whole idea was <laughs> was for me to kind of um you know just sit there quietly for a couple of minutes but uh, people came over they were very lovely they had no idea that I was trying to escape from the the space you know the wide open spaces but I'm being very honest with you but I do have agoraphobia and I can sort of get over most things so the wedding was a success I got out and it's kind of broken the spell a little bit of me leaving the home. So anyway, I've got something to show you today, which is which is interesting. I bought this, a couple of these. It's called Gypsy, the Gypsy Gypsy Book. And it is a large 12 by 12 premium papers. And it is really beautiful. And I'm going to send some of this plus other papers I have to Carla. So I'm just going to, if you haven't got one of these, I'm just going to show you what's in it. So they're really lovely. It does have a sheen to it, just a light sheen, um, but it is really pretty. So I just thought I'd quickly show you this in case you wanted to buy one. It is American, I believe, and I got mine from eBay. And they give you, I'm working in a small space, so I hope you can, get, I'm getting it all in for you. They give you all of these beautiful, beautiful pages. So there's plenty to share. Isn't that lovely? Just put that up to the camera for you. Really pretty. So I love the sound of paper. That one's got like a coffee stain at the top and all these lovely pictures with a sheen. So you get plenty of these pages which are identical. Great for journaling on. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Wow. They are a bit pricey. I think I paid £21 for this one, about £21. The other one I paid a bit more for. Just depends on where you get it. You can buy them on Amazon as well. Isn't that nice? So, that one's got the deer heads on. and Like I said, they're all identical. You know, quite a lot of them are identical pages. Really pretty. Look at that one. I love this one. So that's why I haven't joined in Carla's birthday giveaway. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? That would make a lovely journal cover on its own. But yeah, they're just stunning. These, wow, these are gorgeous. Look at the sheen on this. And then on the back is the very unshiny, gorgeous postcards that you can get. Mary Poppins' husband flying away there. What an imagination some people have to do these books. Isn't that just lovely? Gorgeous. So I just thought that I would send this out. A lot of this out to Carla. I do have more paper as well which I will be sharing with a few people. 
So the reason I've come on today is because we're going to do a hippie flower tutorial and they're very easy to make and I'm just going to show you what I've done with one of my flowers back in just a minute. Okay, um, I'm back to show you why I make my hippie flowers the way I do. This is a, um, a lovely quilt that I'm making. Very cosy, very easy to make. I said I was going to do a tutorial on this. Now they're supposed to have a great big piece like that which you can fray, which makes it into a rag quilt. I'm sure there are there are so many of you that know how to do these, but I just kind of put my own stamp on it. Um, I'm just going to remove my sewing machine because it's kind of wobbling. So we're going to need that. Right, that can be gone. Right, okay, so... Oh. Right, this is something which I will be fraying. So I'm just going to have a little tiny bit of fray all the way through this lovely luxurious quilt. I'm just going to move my flower itself the way that I'm going to be using for the flower tutorial today. So when I've put some hearts on here, what I'm going to do is take a picture of this and put it on this video so you can see it. It's not finished. Because um, it's actually taken me three days to get over the wedding, as in tiredness. So um, I didn't have anything to drink. I had a mouthful of champagne to toast the bride. So it wasn't a matter of that. It was a matter of just being exhausted um, because of my condition. <laughs> Not my condition. It's, uh, it's just, you know, the poorliness of it all. So, so there's the flower. And thank you, by the way, to all the ladies that sent me good wishes before I went to the wedding. Gosh, you're so lovely. And I do love you because I needed those. I, that kept me going. It really did and it helped me get there. I don't think I would have gone without your good wishes. I really don't. So that's the pretty flower that I made out of scraps. And this is, of course, um, the quilt that I've showed you before. So I'm definitely, definitely going to be doing a tutorial on this because they're so easy to make. I will do two or three of these pockets and show you how I put them together. I have done a few, attempted to do a few tutorials, but I, you know, I, I get quite nervous when I do tutorials for you, which is ridiculous. I shouldn't be. Um, I've been on YouTube a while now, about a year and a half or something, which is, you know, enough not to be nervous anymore. We're all a bit nervous, aren't we, at times? So there you go. And I'm real pleased with it. And I've already started to do the edges. Um, it's not perfect. I will be putting some lace on this. I've started to sort the edges out, if you can just see there. And I've used scraps to make this. And um, some flannelette sheeting, which is not, I didn't actually use sheets. I bought it in, I bought the flannelette in. Now I'm doing my husband one in blue, in blue with blue polka dots. And this will be lovely in winter. So this is just my take on the rag quilt. But like I said, I will take some photographs for you so you can see it in its entirety. Now here is the flower that we're going to be doing today. It's, I will be putting it on here because it's only halfway done. So if you're interested in making one of these flowers, perhaps to put on a quilt like this for yourself, your family, Maybe your children, your grandchildren would love one of these. You know, you can do them in all different colours. They're very easy to do. And if you're in good health, you can knock them up in about three or four days. Really, really easy. Or if you're really determined, you could do one in a day. I mean, I have before. So um, on with flower tutorial. I did promise you and I've come back to keep that promise today. All right, let's begin. Please join me for part two. I'm running out of YouTube time on how to make the flowers for a quilt or anything else you want to put them on. 